Hello, um, I wanted to do a quick vlog, um, well not really a quick one, I don't know how long it's going to take, but hopefully less than 15 minutes. Um, today I had a really good day so I wanted to do a vlog to kind of capture the, capture the feeling of it. Uh, what I did today was I went with um, two friends to Hamish and Andy's Thank You Tour in Melbourne. Um, Hamish and Andy are these two guys who do a radio program in um, Australia. Um, they're on Fox FM in Melbourne, but um, yeah, it doesn't matter. But they're really funny. They're really good. Um, you can find their podcasts and things like that. I think if you go to hamishandandy.com.au. Um, so if you've never heard of them before, you can check them out there. They're yeah, really funny. And uh, if you have heard of them, yeah, I got to go to their, their final show. Um, well, it's kind of their final show because next year they're changing the format. Um, they're going from five days a week to one day a week which will leave them, you know, uh, more time to do other projects. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like their final show. So they, what they did this week was they went around to all the different states, um, major cities in Australia, uh, to do a, like a thank you tour to their fans and things like that. So um, luckily um, the one they did in Melbourne today, which was on a Friday, and luckily I had the day off work today, so, because normally I work um, one, or, one or two hours or something like that on Friday, but. I didn't have to today, luckily, and um, I was able to go. And I went with um, Alex and Dee as well, um, two friend, two of my friends who they ha they're also Hamish and Andy fans as well. So it's really fun going with people who actually like the show as well. Um, yeah, it was the best thing ever. Um, I'm really glad I went. Um, the atmosphere was so fun. Um, yeah, so I had a really good day. Uh, I just want to describe a few things about it. Um, well, the gates, it was at the Maya Music Bowl uh, in the city, and they opened the gates at 12 o'clock, and the show was going to start at 4 o'clock, and um, yeah, we decided to get there early, because, you know, Hamish and were very popular, and we got there, I think, around nearly 12, and it was when we got there, there were already a lot of people there, and when we got in, we just managed to get the last couple of seats that was in the seated area, so we were really lucky. So, and after that, people had to sit on the grass, so, um, yeah, it was really cool. Everyone that was there was, like, a Hamish and Annie fan, so it was such a good atmosphere. Um, the, there was a dress-up theme for the event. It was, um, come as your, come as a Hamish and Annie memory. So, it doesn't have to be your favourite memory, it just has to be a memory. So, it's like a fancy dress theme, but, you know, you could just basically wear anything obscure, like, any obscure reference to the show. And it was really funny, watch, really uh, entertaining, um, looking at everyone's costumes. Some people, a lot of people went um, all out and did really, really cool costumes. Like the, the ones I liked, I mean, there was, a, there was heaps that I liked, but um, there were people, there were people dressed as the Caravan of Courage, so there was like six or s seven of them all in like a cardboard box and they would walk in a row, following each other, and you know, it was made to look like the bus. Oh, it's really cool. I mean, I didn't have a camera on me, so I just took some photos of my mobile phone, and the mobile phone camera is horrible, so, yeah. But I took a few photos anyway. Um, hopefully my other friends, they had iPhones, hopefully um, they have some photos of it that I can just pinch. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was such great costumes. It was really, really fun atmosphere. Um, the weather was not that great. I mean, it was raining and really hot at one stage, but um, that's Melbourne, eh? But the good thing was, when the show started at 4 to when it finished at 6, the weather actually got really okay. Like, all the other times it was horrible, but when the show started, it just kind of, well, the rain held off and it wasn't too hot during the show, which was great. Okay, so I'm describing of the show. Um, when Hamish and Annie came out, um, like, you know, before, they come out, there's a guy from the radio station saying, well, like, you know, he's one of the person that works there, and he goes, when I do this, he jumps around, everyone starts clapping, like, he's, he's telling people to clap, you know, which is good for when they, they come back from ad breaks and stuff, but when Hamish and Annie came on, you know, for the first time at 4 o'clock, you know, he didn't need to do that, like, the, the crowd was so good, like, everyone was so, like, it was great to be part of it, like, the applause was so good, like, Hamish and Annie, they're doing this, like, kind of like a well, they, they say it's like thanking people, thanking the fans, but it kind of feels like, you know, everyone wanted to just thank them for, you know, all the entertainment they've 
provided us for five years. Um, yeah, it was such a great atmosphere, and the show itself was just so fun. Um, yeah, it's great. They're just they're awesome. Um, there was a part where they were doing um, they were performing a song um, about how Ham Shania were performing a song about how um, it was called um, We're Better Than You Two, and they were just singing We're Better Than You Two and all this stuff. And all of a sudden, at the end of the song, U2 came out onto the stage, and that's like we didn't, nobody knew that they were going to come out. And when you get a surprise guest, it's always good. And when it's a guest that, that's as big as U2, that's huge. And then U2 performed, and um, they sounded so good live. Like uh, I'm, I'm, like I, I'm not really a huge U2 fan, but I really liked their performance. It was amazing. Yeah, really. Now, like now, I can see why they're so popular. Um, another highlight, well there was heaps of highlights, but another highlight was John Farnham singing You're the Voice. Um, it's a real like anthem type song, like, and when he was singing and everyone was singing along, it was amazing. Um, we got to, uh, it was Friday, so it was Pants Off Friday, so they did the show with their pants off. Um, and also Friday is, Hang is Fred Bassett, that's when Hamish reads Fred Bassett, so it was kind of like the last well, I don't know if it's the last Fred Bassett, because they might do it next year, but it felt like it was like the last Fred Bassett. And, um, yeah, so they, they did it. Uh, Andy got Hamish, like, put him in stocks, which is like, you know, the olden days where you put people in those wooden things with the head and the arms. And then he had all these people with tomatoes and throwing it at Hamish while um, he was trying to read the comic. Um, yeah. It was good to be there live for the show. Um, you know, you hear it on the radio all the time, but now I actually got, got to be part of it, and it's going to be good, like, downloading the podcast of that show, and, like, hearing all the cheers, and, like, you know, knowing that you're, you're, you know, part of the cheers, it's cool. Yeah, I'm so glad we went. It was, yeah, one of the, really, really good day. Uh, yeah, so glad we went. Um, yeah, what else was there? Uh, yeah, I'm glad we went. Is there anything else to talk about the show? Mm. Yeah, it's probably about it, talking about the show, but yeah, I just had a great day. Uh, okay, following from that, we went to, uh, now on a different topic, so we went to eat dinner at um, a place called Sushi Burger. It's really cool, it's in the city in Melbourne. Um, it's like like a, a burger, small burger, um, but instead of bread, it's got like rice and seaweed on the top of it, so it's like, kind of like a ham roll, but it's in the shape of a burger, um, and uh, I had the spicy salmon sushi burger, and the sauce they have with it is really nice, and yeah, it's very yummy, so um, I, I recommend that place, it's on um, Exhibition Street between Little Burke and Burke, I think. So, yeah, if you like Japanese food, it's pretty good. Something different. Uh, and then after that, we went to get ice cream at this place uh, my friend Alex recommended called... Um, oh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Passion Flower. Mm. It's on Burke Street. It's an ice cream place. Oh. But yeah, the flavour I tried that uh, Alex recommended to me was called lychee rose. It tastes really good. Like it's like lychee, but with um, a rose taste to it. So hard to describe, but yeah, it tasted very nice. So yeah, it was a really good day. Um, yeah, there's probably more I can talk about it, but I think that's the essentials. I think. Um, yeah, I had a great day, and um, yeah. So if you never heard of Amish Nandy, you should check them out. They're great, and um, mm, that's it. Yeah.